Hey ladies, so this is going to be Dallas's four year update. I typically do these um, around his birthday. It's kind of special because there are a lot of things that um, I have to talk about and a lot of things that I have questions about. So if any of you are mothers that have um, you know, kids around this age that are currently going through this or you have some experience in this, um, I guess um, I'm just asking for your advice. So I talked a little bit about this in past videos that um, we were going through the process of getting Dallas enrolled in preschool for next year. I originally wanted him to be enrolled this year, the school year when we got back here to Michigan, but um, the process was a lot longer. It took a lot longer than I thought. So he right now just has a teacher that comes to the house um, and that comes to the house and she um, works with him at home. And the reason why we chose this is because during his IEP meeting, there were some concerns that he have or might be on the autism spectrum. Um, it started to show, um, which I honestly wasn't, I wasn't surprised that, um, you know, there were some red flags there just because um, this has kind of always been in the back of my mind. Um, in, and in the back of Dave's mind as well um, as Dallas grew up because there were a lot of, um, I guess, um, little quirks that Dallas portrayed and a lot of um, them seemed to be on the autism spectrum. So I was not surprised when they told us that, um, that, he, that they are picking that up and that they suggested um, for him to have testing done. So he is going to a program here um, within the next couple of weeks to have the really in-depth testing done. He already had one meeting um, where I spoke to a lady and I answered some of the questions that she had and we went over some of the things that um, I had concerns and questions about and she definitely said that he marked above um, I guess what their normal testing would be for autism. He marked above that. To go and get the in-depth testing done, which is a four to six hour process. Honestly, really nervous about it just because Dallas does not do good in unfamiliar situations or with unfamiliar people. Um, it's usually a complete meltdown. Um, it takes him most, it takes him about um, a few meetings for him to feel comfortable with, you know, that person being in his area or wherever he's at. Um, so that's why I'm really, I'm a little bit nervous about how that will go because I obviously want it to, I obviously want them to gather all the information that they need and, um, knowing Dallas, I know that that's going to be a little bit of a struggle for him. Um, I typically, before we go anywhere that he's unfamiliar with, or if we see anybody that he's unfamiliar with, I have to prepare him and, um, it kind of goes both ways that you, if I don't, or if I do, it's kind of the same outcome. Um, sometimes it may be a little bit less. Um, it's just, it's, it's difficult. Um, it's kind of been, you know, like this since he was very little. Um, at first we thought that maybe he was just really sensitive and he maybe have, you know, had some sensors, uh, sensory dis difficulties, which, um, I still think that I still, um, think that he does have a little bit of, um, hard time processing certain, certain situations and, um, certain noises and places and things like that. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's a little difficult for him and, um, as his mom and even, and Dave as well, you know, we want to do what's best for him and we want to be able to get all, all the resources and help information that we can for him so that he can, you know, so that we can better help him through these situations that are difficult for him. Sometimes I feel a little bit guilty because I feel that if I had been able to carry him full term that maybe he wouldn't be struggling as much. Um, but I did learn some new information that they are suggesting that autism may or may not be hereditary and uh, my little sister um, was um, going to be tested for that as well. So um, I guess that makes me feel a little better in a sense, but I, I just... I can't shake the guilty feeling and I know that there are a lot of preemie moms out there that kind of feel that way, you know, when certain situations arise in their children, you know, where their children is either, um, you know, struggling with something that's, you know, like a special need. As far as that goes, um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that and if any of you have any information or anything of that sort, like any groups or, you know, um, online message boards, anything like that, please send them to me because I, um, I would like to know more. 
Um, I would like to make sure that I'm, you know, doing everything I can for him, everything that's best for him. Um, I just, I've been, you know, like trying to suck up every information I can. Um, so if you have any, like anything of that sort, please, please let me know. Um, but as, um, as everything else going, Dallas is doing really well, um, with school. His teacher, um, has been coming here, like I said, and he's, um, improved at each visit, which is really nice. He still won't talk to her, but he communicates in other ways with, like, gestures and shaking his head yes or no. Um, he's looking at her now, like, when she talks to him before, he would just kind of, kind of not have eye contact with her. Um, so that's a huge improvement for him to, you know, get to that step. And, um, I'm really proud of him and I'm, I love his teacher. She's awesome. Um, she's been very patient with him. Um, it's actually kind of crazy because I guess like the first couple of times, um, it's actually kind of crazy because the first time that he met her, usually he would run and hide and he did. He ran and hide, but she was able to get him out with under, get him out of, um, our room, um, under an hour. Now, if that was anybody else that he didn't know, um, he probably would have, you know, spent the rest of his day in there and not have came out. Um, so she's very patient with him. She's an awesome teacher. Um, I'm going to be sad that next year that he won't have her because he'll actually be, hopefully if we can get him to the point, um, to where he's ready to go to school full time, um, in a school setting, um, he'll be actually in a different school. So, but I'm just, I'm really proud of him for the strides that he's made so far. Um, we are still learning how to write his name. Um, that's something new and we're working at, working on, um, communication and social interaction. Um, that's kind of gone iffy. Like I said, it just, it takes Dallas a while to warm up to people and even kids his own age. It's totally normal for kids that have, um, you know, trouble with that like he does. He loves his baby sister to pieces. I just love to see the bond that they have um, and that he has with her. He's very protective of her. Um, when she cries, he's always hugging her and kissing her and just kind of loving on her. Um, or he'll look for her pacifier and kind of shove it in her mouth. I feel like he just kind of does that because she doesn't want to hear her cry, which is okay. Um, he's gotten... Um, He's actually starting to show interest in other things like Minecraft and dinosaurs, whereas before it was just all cars. Um, so that's really awesome. I kind of, um, I've been really happy to see that, um, especially dinosaurs because I think dinosaurs are awesome. Um, and Minecraft too because it is, you know, like a, um, Minecraft is, I don't know if any of you are familiar with this, but I'm sure any moms out there that have little boys around this age and up, um, kind of know, but, um, Minecraft is like a really interactive game. It teaches them, you know, problem solving and math skills and all kinds of stuff. Um, previously, I would not let Dallas play video games. I just, I'm not about that kind of stuff. Um, but I was okay. I'm okay with him playing this game um, with a certain limited of time. Um, I know that I had some video suggestions um, to kind of, I guess, um, be able to get these videos and the information out faster. I'm going to do half um, blog posts and half video um, and kind of cor correlate those together um, just because I, f I feel bad that I've kind of been away from, you know, these videos and blog posts for so long. But um, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys for my next video. Um, again, if you have any information as regarding autism, um, please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys for my next video.